You know, the other day I was asked by another driver, how do you make sure that your car is in tip-top shape? Okay, so I, I wrote up a little, um, you know, a couple of points that you should look out uh, for when you, you know, attending to your vehicle. Oil change, ladies and gentlemen, I always suggest synthetic oil. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but cars love synthetic oils. You'll get way, way more mileage. And then first and most important, that follow your vehicle manufacturer's guidelines because some of the cars uh, suggest changing the oil every three to 5,000 miles if you have heavy usage. That may apply to you, okay? Tire rotation and balance, ladies and gentlemen. Get your tires rotated with your oil changes. With the amount of wear and tear you put on your car, one of the most important maintenance practices is the rotation and balancing, okay? Your front tires will wear much more quickly, and so if you keep them rotated, you will prolong the life of the tires and your trips. The wheel alignment this is an easy exercise for any guy or girl. Look at your tires, see if they're wearing uneven. Means one side of the tire is wearing more than the other. And usually what you'll see is that the car starts pulling off to the left or pulling off to the right. A strong indicator that the wheel alignment is not great. So if there are problems um, with your wheel alignment, you just you will notice drag, higher uh, fuel usage these are some of the common ones there will be some suspension problems as well and you will definitely notice a pull to the left or the right so take it in and get your wheels aligned um car vacuuming and washing it you know just just cleaning out debris and and and, and cleaning your seats just you know it prolongs the life protects the seats very often makes it look much much cleaner you know you can also go out and get the mats you know the mats you can get the all-weather mats they're a little bit more expensive but you know those are for like summer and winter and a lot of wet uh, snow whatever getting in the car there are specific regions around the united states california thank god we don't really have that problem down here but um you know what i'm talking about even uh the difference between, you know, those those snow scrapers or windshield scrapers, I've, I've never had to ever use them in California, but it might, you know, you might need one on board when you go to Chicago and New York. Um, what else? Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of some other good ones that I'd wrote down here. Um, let's see. Sorry. I think, you know, I think pretty much covered it. The multi-point inspection, ladies and gentlemen, you know... It, it's 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 good to have your car inspected um, check out you know your brakes your rotor blades and all of that and just make sure that everything you know is 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 functioning um, they are suggested uh, multi inspection um, mileage points when you read the uh, reach them 20,000 miles you know 50,000 miles etc you want to go in for a comprehensive uh, checkup. There might be some bigger repairs. Okay. So make sure your car is in tip-top shape. This will affect your safety. It will make the, the drive uh, so much more pleasurable. You know, if you have fresh oil, good tires, clean car, you know, you can add a lot of extra miles to your car. Um, Say no more. I think it speaks for itself. Have a great day.